My eyes are like half plastic shut. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I can't close or open them. It's so weird. Are you ready to be mummified? <laughs> sure. First, we wrap you in saran wrap. We're gonna start with a basic mummy pose first. So you're gonna stand like this, and then okay. put your... Uh, Are you gonna wrap both my legs together? Together, yeah. Okay, so I have to have good balance. Mm -hmm. you, okay. got, you got this. Our body form is gonna be made of duct tape, but underneath that is gonna be a layer of plastic wrap. <laughs> the plastic's gonna make it so the duct tape doesn't get stuck to your skin or clothes, and generally makes the form a lot easier to take off. We're gonna draw lines, like this, so we know where to tape it back together. We're gonna cut this thing apart and then it's gonna have to go back together later, so these lines are gonna be really important to help us get it back into the same shape. After we do the legs, we move on to the torso. Once again, we start with plastic and then follow up with a layer of duct tape. It's a great material for body forms because it doesn't stretch at all and it holds its shape incredibly well. Next up, we do the arms, and we're careful here not to wrap the tape too tightly because that can make it challenging to cut off later on. This back area is gonna get cut into several sections so that we can get it off, so the lines here are really gonna come in handy to get it all back together. Now you feel better? This is going to be awesome. <laughs> it's it's going to be fine. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Good. It's, yeah. you know, just, just take a deep breath. <laughs> if you try this at home, be super careful and make sure to leave plenty of space to breathe. This is pretty obvious, but just to be sure. For our mummy, we're covering the nose, but leaving the mouth wide open. It was over 100 degrees that day, which is why we're not out in the workshop and we're in the house. And we don't run the air conditioner when we're filming, so by now I was definitely ready to get out of this duct tape. That was weird, but <laughs> now that it's off, we've got uh, our mummy kind of laid out in front of us. Next, we're gonna start stuffing it. Yeah, the nice thing about the duct tape is it really helps to hold the form. So, I mean, it already looks pretty, pretty lifelike. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. We're using some thick metal wire to act as a spine that will go from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet. This is gonna help them stand up straighter and not slouch. There are quite a few steps along the way where one of us needs to hold a piece while the other tapes it, so this is definitely a project you want to do with a friend. Next, we work together to fill up the inside of the mummy with old recycled newspaper, magazines, junk mail, things like that. This is a great way to use some of that old material that we all have lying around the house. Here you can see where those black marker lines really come in handy for taping this back together. There's a spot on the upper back where four different pieces all had to come together perfectly, and if those lines weren't there, it would be a total mess. To wrap our mummy, we're using grade 10 cheesecloth and cutting it into thin strips. This cloth has an open weave that works perfectly for this and other Halloween projects. For links to all the tools and materials that we use for this mummy project, check the description. The cheesecloth is way too bright white for a mummy, so we're going to use black tea to stain it to give it an aged look. To do this, we'll make a giant batch of tea and let our cloth soak for about 10 minutes. The longer you let it soak inside the tea, the darker it will get. 10 minutes was just about right for the look we were going for. 
After that, we'll drain it out, rinse it a bunch of times, and then let it dry. The cheesecloth is semi-transparent, so since you're gonna see through it a little bit, we paint the body form white with some white spray paint, and that's gonna make it so we don't need so many layers of cloth. Finally, we're ready to do the fun part. We're gonna do a test wrap to make sure that we have enough cheesecloth. In our case, we actually didn't. We had to go back and make a bunch more and do another tea stain because we didn't have enough, but that's okay. Depending on how you cut your fabric, you'll have a frayed edge either on both sides or maybe just on one side, and you wanna make sure that that points down to give it a more aged look. As you're wrapping, you can kinda of go back and forth across different areas to give it some variation. You don't just have to do a simple spiral all the way up. We wanted our mummy to have skeletal hands, so we picked up some life-sized ones, and then they fit right into the wrist area, and we used the same cloth to kind of wrap around the fingers to get them to stay in. The last step is optional, but we want our mummy to have an aged and dirty look. So we're using a watered down brown and black acrylic wash to dirty it up and give it some texture. Once it's dry, everything gets wrapped back up and our mummy is complete. <laughs>